Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Bill Wilt Memorial event. I'm joined here by two of the lovely ladies of Border Sports. You are? Allison Damore. And? Kim Donahue. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, let's start with, what was it like working with Bill? So much fun. That guy is one person that knew everything and anything. You could not trick him up with anything. He knew anything there was about motorsports, about cars, and he let us do so many fun things that I would never have been able to do. And how much did he teach you? A lot. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, he taught me a lot of stuff that I still remember to this day. So what would be the most memorable thing? Most memorable thing has to be the activities we got to do. We got to drive hovercrafts. We've got to drive junior dragsters. I got to race my 1991 Dodge Shadow at Union Grove. I will never forget that. I mean, you see this little Dodge Shadow putting down the way, but I, hey, it made it to the end. And it was fun, right? Oh, it was so much fun. That's Loved it. Matters. Absolutely. Yeah. How, how about you? What You got a good thing that Bill taught you? Well, Bill, first of all, uh, the world was a better place with him in it. Bill was a heart of gold. He would do anything for anyone. Uh, he would give you the shirt off his back if you had to. Wonderful man. We're really going to miss him. But what he's done for the motorsport community has been amazing. Um, not to mention, again, same thing. To me, ooh, the car is pretty. It's blue. Ooh, that's kind of where my level was before I started doing motorsports. And now I can actually point out a Hemi engine if I see one. And I We're going to test you later. Don't worry about <laughs> the it. The opportunities that he gave me were amazing, too. We had wonderful, the community was so generous. We had uh, wonderful people donate their cars for us to do shows. I got to drive a front and rear engine dragster at Union Grove. I got to do um, oval track dirt racing. I got to drive a jet car without the jets. They Holy wouldn't cow. let me do that. But uh, I would never have had that opportunity did you drive, to do did that. Did you drive this thing too? No, not no, okay. rare. <laughs> it scared the heck out of me. <laughs> so, uh, so I know Bill didn't, when you guys, did, everybody was volunteers on this show. Yes. Everybody was volunteers. So what did he do for you guys that made up for not getting paid, I guess? <laughs> well, pretty well, yeah. We got to do the, the experience of what we did, snowmobiling, uh, motorcycles. I was on the back of a motorcycle. That made up for, that made up in wonders of not being paid. Because we got to do this stuff that I would have never done if I had not met him or been I on the show. Really then we got opportunities outside of that. We got to do commercials for ABC Auto. Um, I was an actress at the time. Still to this day, I still do acting. And on my resume, I have Motorsports Unlimited on there. And it is the number one thing people will say to me is, oh my gosh, you were on Motorsports Unlimited. You were a feather girl. So even, and I'm not, old now, not I'm just Not 60. just on the show, but a feather girl. A feather girl. That was our nicknames. And uh, that's what they want to talk to me about, not what I've done in acting. But ooh, you were a feather girl. What did you do? It was <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it was still to this day. How many years later? No, uh, 30, 30, Thirty something years, years yeah. later for me, and I still get recognized and noticed yes. out on the street. Really? So, yes, so absolutely. Amazing. Yep. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So yeah, we're all here because we all loved Bill. We, we loved all Bill. had such great experiences with him. Um, do you have a good story? Do you have a favorite story of Bill? I have lots of great stories about Bill. Well, Bill actually, what I do like about him is when he's trying to convince some of the girls to do things they were not comfortable with. Those were always my favorite. Because well, did, did, did you mind the outfits? Did you like the no, outfits? No, you know what? Yeah, this, you like the outfits? I, our okay. outfits were before this big feminist blast, where I'm probably one of the biggest tomboys that has ever been on the show, <laughs> and in really that you'll meet. I never minded those outfits, and the people who resisted us because of that just didn't have a have well, a clue. Well, and Bill kept it very fun and kind of campy. Never almost, sexual. It was never lingerie. He weird, once you know. said, "The only reason if people are flicking through a channel and you see a car show." The average person, unless you love cars, is going to zip right past the channel. But if you're jipping, uh, zipping through the channels and, and, and you, you see, see you come across and boosties and, boosties and high and heels, you, you got it all then. You, you go back on there and you say, what the heck is that? And you end up getting interested in the topics that he's talking about because you're puzzled why they're there. Right. 
And it worked. It drew it, it the did. most watched, most talked about cable television show in history. Right. So and that was because of the girls with the feathers in their hair. Yeah. And how many years did you do this? I was on nine and a half years. I was on for five yeah. years and then I was away for a little bit and then I came back for like maybe a few months. When the, with the switch of the uniforms, because I was the red, I was the red and the yellow, and I came back a couple of times with the pink and the white. So I've got a little bit of both in there. So you did both. Do you yes, still I have did. the outfits. Okay. I'm gonna get it. We're, we're gonna get them today. Get them today. Good. Good. Very good. Very good. I can't wait to try it on and see if I can even slither into it. <laughs> So we got porta potties here. You guys can go in and change. Oh, okay. and yeah, awesome! Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, well, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for coming out to the show. Obviously, and I thank you for everything you. you guys have done yes, for absolutely. this. Absolutely. Um, Thanks for keeping his memory alive too. Yeah, and that's kind of really what this is all about. Yes. That this is why we spent hours and days and weeks putting this together. It really the turned bike, out to be a beautiful. Putting show, yeah. everything together. Luckily, well, not luckily, but Bill. It had a lot of love out there from a lot of yes. people, and because of that, we were able to do this today. It's Absolutely. a great event. So we're going to say goodbye, and I think you ladies might know how to say goodbye. I, some of the do. other people didn't know, but I think you guys got this. Yeah, so we go ahead. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back. Thank you. All right, pause it, and then... Um,